Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a getting ready with me video. It's like a chit chat getting ready with me video. I actually forgot to film a intro to this video, so I'm filming it now while I'm about to edit it. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's kind of this look, which has now been like after a couple of hours, so it looks a bit funny. Uh, but yeah, just a really nice like natural look. It's kind of my everyday makeup routine, but I just thought of doing a kind of a chit chat getting ready with me video um, instead. So I really hope you enjoy it, and please subscribe, and I will speak to you all soon. So I'm going to start by priming my face. I've got a mirror on this side, so that's why if I look there, that is why. Um, so the primer I'm going to use is the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. Um, I still can't really make my mind about, up about this one. Um, I don't know, it's just like, it's nice, but I feel like I have to use quite a lot to kind of make it feel like it's actually on my skin. Um, so, just pop that all over. It's kind of like a really weird feel. It's kind of like silicone-y type product, it looks like this, I don't think you'll be able to see that. Um, but it is kind of weird, it's not like a cream, but it is, it's it's really strange. But um, it's kind of alright at the moment, and it kind of um, minimises my pores and makes them look a lot smaller. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply my foundation, which today I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I do really like this one. The one I've been using the most at the moment is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream, uh, but I want to try out some other ones as well. I've had this one for a while, but yeah, um, I'm applying this with the Sigma F80 brush, which is the flat top uh, Kabuki. And just blending that in, sorry about the lighting, it's gone really weird. Uh, my skin isn't the greatest at the moment at all because I've started using the Clarisonic, and as we all know, you get the purging phase when you start using the Clarisonic. Um, so it hasn't been fantastic, I've got a lot of spots, I've got a lot of down here, one that's just coming up out here, and an absolute killer up there on my forehead, which is actually giving me massive headaches the whole day, uh, which isn't great. Um, so yeah, I'm just sweeping the foundation everywhere. I don't normally get much like wrong with my forehead, so I kind of just like don't really bother too much there. Um, I don't really take too long applying my foundation, I just kind of blend it in with the brush and make sure it's all blended. I'm just going to use this little NARS mirror just to make sure it's all blended in. Because one of the things that you said about my last Get Ready With Me videos is that you wanted a smaller mirror to be used because you couldn't see what I was doing. So we'll use this one which is really small. Um, so that is all pretty much blended. Obviously you can still see this spot here. Um, if you were closer to me, you'd still be able to see these ones. Um, it is a medium to full coverage, this foundation. I do really like it. Um, the name of it just confused me a little bit because it's Luminous Silk. I don't find this foundation to be that luminous. Like, you can see it's got like more of a satin finish, in my opinion. I'm then going to apply the Maybelline Eraser Concealer thingy um, just underneath my eyes. And I absolutely love this. It's just probably my favourite under eye concealer. My eyes are quite dark this morning, I'm not too sure why, because I had a really, really good night's sleep. Um, so I'm not too sure why, but we'll just go with it. Sorry for looking over there, as I said, I've got a mirror. So it's really, really quick to blend in. Sorry, I was using the Real Techniques contour brush with that. Um, I'm then going to apply my concealer, which is just the Collection 2000 uh, Last Imperfection Concealer. Um, if you watched my Christmas haul, you'll know that I asked for the NARS Creamy Concealer. And um, they accidentally, my dad accidentally got me the normal concealer from NARS. So I've asked for them to get me the other one and take the other one back. So I am going to be getting the NARS creamy concealer. Um, but I'll just have to wait for that. And that might become um, a bit more um, of like a show in my videos. Rather than Collection 2000. We'll see how it compares. So yeah, I've just popped this on the areas that I feel that need covering the most. So I've popped it on um, a scouring on both of my cheeks. Which, to be honest, is not very prominent anymore from the products I've been using with my skincare. Um, and therefore, this foundation covers them well. But um, I still like to put a bit of concealer on my cheeks. And then put some on my spots as well that have been going on. So that is nicely blended. But I look a little bit pale <laughs> and a little bit weird. The colour on the um, camera is coming up really, really pale on my skin. Um, like... I don't know, it was just coming up really pale. It's not this pale, it is quite good for my skin tone actually, this colour. So, yep. The next thing I'm going to do is apply uh, pressure, bronzer and highlighter. Now I got this little NARS palette 
quite a while back, I'd say maybe a year or two, and it just looks like this. It's got Laguna um, Orgasm and Albatross Highlighter, and I really don't use it enough at all. Like, Laguna looks like it's been used quite a lot, but I've had it for two years, so I don't know. I just don't really use it enough, so I'm just going to use a... Uh, this is by Kirkland, and it's just an angled kind of... Um, like, I used to use it for my blush, but I'm using it for my bronzer. I'm just kind of... Sorry about the lighting, I really don't know what's going on. But I just kind of like push it in and give myself like a nice contour, like that you can see that quite clearly. I really don't know what is going on with the lighting because it's about half past eleven in the day, so it's not particularly really, really sunny outside. So yeah, I just kind of like to put some on my forehead just to kind of bronze it up. You can kind of like see it. And then I also like to put some just below my chin just here. Don't really know why. I feel like it gives me a more defined kind of chin. Um, but yeah. Now my contour that I do isn't too harsh at all, I don't think. It just gives a subtle kind of like bronzed look. And with highlighter and blusher, I feel like it looks really nice. Now I'm going to be applying the orgasm blusher. Oh, my necklace has come... And then um, I'm going to be applying the Orgasm Blusher and I'm going to be using it with the Real Techniques of Blush Brush. And I'm just going to be getting a little bit on the end. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm just gently sweeping it onto my cheeks. I forgot how amazing this blusher was. It's just really, really good for a like, pick-me-up. There you go. I do absolutely love blusher. I really do. I feel like it's the one thing that just kind of, once you've applied your foundation, when you put it back on, it just looks amazing. And then I'm just going to be using the Albatross highlighter in here with the e.l.f. small stiffle brush, which I find is really, really good for highlighter, especially cream highlighter. I'm just going to be using this. Yeah, I know this isn't cream highlighter, but it is still good. It's just the right shape. I'm actually popping that along uh, my cheekbone at the top. And this highlighter is absolutely amazing. It gives a really nice gold sheen. And I've had it for a long time. As I said, I've had this palette for quite a while. But uh, Glitter Little mentioned it in her more, most recent video. Uh, she did a chit chat getting ready with me like this. And she mentioned uh, the Albatross highlighter that she'd got. And um, I just kind of thought, oh my god, I've got that. And, you know, I fell in love with it again. Um, so the next thing I'm going to be using is the uh, Maybelline Colour 30 24 Hour... Um, thingies in the colour pink gold. Now the reason for this is because I'm going to be putting this all over the lid because I'm going to be using some of my Urban Decay Naked 3 shadows in this and most of those are quite rosy toned. So I find if I just sweep this over the eyelid it kind of like makes me intensify them. And um, I would never have bought this colour myself when my friend Paige bought it, bought it for me because uh, she said it would go well with the Naked 3 and I totally agree and I actually quite like it as a wash of colour by itself which is mascara. It looks really pretty. Um, so that is that. I'm then going to be taking the Naked 3, which is just absolutely beautiful. And I'll just show you it. Just looks like that. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. I'll take Burnout, I think, all over the lid. I'll show you the colour in a second. Um, it's just kind of a um, kind of a rosy tone with a little bit of pink in it. Just going to sweep that all over the lid. That colour is just this one here. Um, and then I'm going to take Liar, which is this colour here, and go kind of on the outer half of my eye. I do like this palette, but I find that kind of like the rosy tones are a bit weird on my eyes but I do like I do like the palette. I think it's actually beautiful but I do use the darker side more than I use the lighter side. Because the dark shadows aren't as pink. I've just kind of just smudged that out into the outer corner. 
and an inch of the crease as you can see just there uh, now one thing I am going to use is this which is what I've been using the whole time with what I use the mirror for this is the NARS duo in Cordura uh, Bradley bought me this for my last birthday actually I really don't use it like enough uh, but it looks like that it's not like even my last birthday it was the birthday before that so it looks like this um, I think I'm going to use a little bit of both colours um, just to kind of make the look a little bit less pink I'm now going in just with the darker colour just on the very very outer corner I don't know if you can see that but it's just made it look a little bit less pink compared to this eye because as I said I do, I do like the colours but sometimes I just find them a little bit too pink So there you go, I've just added a little bit of depth to the eye there and I think it looks really pretty. I'm then going to take, oh by the way, the brush for that, you all know that I use the fake MAC brushes. But this is the MAC 239 brush um, on, from the set that I got ages ago. Um, then I'm going to take the Crown uh, C200 Deluxe Crease Brush. I swear by this brush, it's such a good blending brush. Like not blending brush to use colour on, blending brush to just blend out colour. So, I just literally blend that all around my eye. And do the same to the other side. And I do find it makes a difference. Just kind of make everything kind of blending. Um, now, I don't have my eyeliner with me because I don't know where it's gone. Um, I, I'm thinking of getting a new one. So we're just going to go in with mascara. And today I'm going to be using the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. Uh, just get my little mirror out again. I do really like this mascara but I just find it takes so long to take off and that is kind of a main problem for me but I use the Emma Hardy cleansing balm it's you know one of the best cleansers ever and it still takes ages to get off so that is about it for my lashes my lashes are quite long anyway um, so yeah that's what I'm going to do with them today um, I do find they are long, but I do I can't really find the greatest mascara in the world for them. I do like the Vera mascara, but I don't know I don't know if it's the best of the best for my lashes. Now I have been using the uh, Maybelline Brow Drama for my eyebrows, but I don't really know where I've put it. So yeah, just gonna leave that because I don't normally fill in my eyebrows because my eyebrows are quite dark anyway. Um, I don't know, I just don't really feel like they need filling in. Um, but I've been using the Brow Drama just to kind of like set them, but I can't find it. So sorry about that. The next thing I'm going to be using, I'll just pick the lid up, is the Bourjois Java Rice Powder. Um, I got this when I went to the Clove show and I really, really like this. Um, I don't know, I just think it's really, really nice as a setting powder. It has got glitter in it, but yeah. I'm going to be using the same brush that I used for my bronzer because I forgot to bring a um, like big fluffy brush to my mum's this week. Um, don't really know why. But yeah, I just kind of set that all over. Um, normally when I use my Laura Mercier Luminous Silk, the foundation um, is more luminous to start with, that's why I have to set it. This one probably doesn't need setting because it's already quite matte, uh, but yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to do is apply some lipstick. Um, I've already put um, my Nivea Lip Butter on uh, my lips, which is the strawberry one, whichever flavour, or raspberry, raspberry one, I think it's raspberry. Um, I have been loving my EOS lip balm that I got recently, and I mentioned it in my previous haul video, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it already. Um, but I did mention that and I've, I'm absolutely loving it. I went to bed last night and I had it in my hand and then now I've woke up and I've lost it. I can't find it anywhere. So I'm really annoyed. So I've been using the uh, Nivea one this morning. Uh, the lipstick I use is the Chanel um, Rouge Coco lipstick in Mademoiselle. I got this for Christmas and I cannot tell you how much I love the shade. It's just, I can't tell I've got lipstick on. <laughs> It's just such a beautiful shade. It's a really nice, like, natural, everyday colour. But, I don't know, it's not too pinky, it's not too nude. I really, really like it. I think it's really, really nice. And then over the top, I'm just going to put the Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen Active Lip Gloss over the top. Just in the middle there. And then just a bit there. Gives it a little bit of a sheen. And it kind of makes my lips tingle for the whole day. <laughs> So that is the finished look. This has kind of been my everyday makeup routine recently, really. Uh, the eyes do sometimes change up, as I said. I kind of use different um, 
shadows and everything but i have been using the naked palette so that's the main one really uh this is kind of the finished look so yeah i'll just close my eyes for you and it's just what it looks like so i hope you like it guys um i thought i'd do one of these videos i haven't done one in so so long and i will speak to you soon bye